Yavrum. Yavrum, yavrum, yavrum. They gave their son a hero's burial. <gülüyor> but there was nothing glorious about how he died. To most Turks, Kurtuluşkaya was a traitor. He was killed taking part in last month's failed coup. He was a conscript and worked in the army canteen. But his family say he had no idea what he was involved in. My son didn't know anything about a coup. They woke him up in the night and told him there was an operation on the Bosphorus Bridge. His commanders led my son to death on purpose. This was the moment the soldiers on the Bosphorus Bridge surrendered. Moments later, this video was taken. It shows Kurtulush's last moments. In the background, the voice says, stop beating him, he's already dead. My child was battered and murdered. He was covered in blood. He was bleeding like a slaughtered cow. But it was the civilians who died that were remembered at yesterday's huge rally. Hundreds of thousands of people with one message. The crowds here are chanting, Shehidlar Ulmaz, Vatan Bölünmez. Martyrs will never die. The country won't be divided. And inside, there was a clear display of national unity. Crowds never seen before, all waving one flag and mostly waiting for one man. If President Erdogan had been shaken by last month's failed coup, you wouldn't know it. He called for national unity and said the people behind the coup were terrorists. But that is not how Kurtulushkaya is remembered by his family. We have died a thousand deaths. I've been crying ever since. This pain is killing me and I'm burning on the inside and I hope whoever did this will burn like me. In some ways, the coup has brought parts of Turkey together. But it also destroyed many lives.